Go fast, in and out. We're big, fast, big, oh, fast, good. big, fast, good, big, good, fast. Good, good Keep go, going, go, good job, big, go, fast. This is the Pediatric and Adult Congenital CPET Lab at the UC Davis Children's Hospital. The CPET lab is uh, cardiopulmonary exercise testing. So that's when we uh, get a patient and put them on the bike and uh, do a stress exercise test. UC Davis Children's Hospital is the only center in the region offering this unique approach. A lot of the tests that we do are done on patients with congenital heart disease, patients who are born with abnormal heart structure and abnormal heart physiology. And we're looking to see if, if their heart defect is limiting their exercise performance. I think you'll beat the bike, huh? 11-year-old Ormillion Ford was diagnosed with congenital heart disease before he was born. Today, Dr. Yanni Dayan and his team are testing Ormillion for the first time. There's a lot that needs to happen before testing can begin. First, he's wired with electrodes so his heart can be monitored. Next, he's fitted with a crown holding a tube to monitor all aspects of his breathing. Finally, the team performs baseline tests to determine Ormillion's resting levels. We get baseline data for about three minutes of them just sitting on the bike doing nothing. Then we have them pedal unloaded cycling for about three minutes as well to sort of normalize that data into uh, where their baseline is going to be. And then we start ramping up their resistance. And they pedal for about eight to 10 minutes. You are rocking it. The ultimate goal, determine if a patient with congenital heart disease needs surgery or if a less invasive approach like a change in medication might work. Good job, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. A team of specialists continuously monitors Armillion's stamina, breathing, blood pressure, heart rate and rhythm, and stress to the organs. All right, now you just have to do a cool down, okay? Just cool down. A lot of these patients have been limited historically by their teachers, by their coaches, even by their doctors, by their parents, so they don't actually even know their full exercise capacity because they haven't tried to reach it. I think it's been a success already because we've been able to use this test to change our, our management of patients, you know, um, go forward with a surgery that we weren't sure was indicated yet, or be able to defer a surgery or an intervention that, that we thought might be necessary. The CPET lab tests give Dr. Dian and his team a much deeper understanding of each patient's clinical picture. Our million CPET results showed his exercise capacity was limited by his heart function and his blood pressure response. Dr. Dian was able to recommend adjusting his current medications instead of performing open heart surgery at this time. Armelian will repeat testing in 6 to 12 months to check for improvement. This digital short is supported by UC Davis Health, where doctors, nurses, researchers, and staff share a passion for advancing health. Learn more about their latest medical innovations at health.ucdavis.edu.